Hi there, welcome to video number nine, looking at uh, reprogramming my aircraft using templates and some of the new events, uh, like the input events from Microsoft Flight Simulator, and also making use of some of the new features that are in Axes and O's. And one of those is the ability to read and write to what are called HIDs, uh, human interface devices. And the honeycomb um, yoke, uh, throttle, well, the throttle quadrant is one of those that we've got um, LEDs here on this annunciator panel that we can write to. Um, so this one's going to be sort of very fairly specific to the honeycomb, but the same techniques probably work with other devices as well. If you've got anything else that has LEDs to be switched on and off or things that you need to test, they will probably work. I have to say, I think that the commands are fairly advanced. Um, but for honeycomb, some somebody has done a bit of work and um, created a bit of a template, some scripts for us to work from as, as a starting point. And I just show you where you get those from and how that happens. It's on the Axis and O's download page, right at the bottom. You know, the scripts to control the LEDs, and it says download the file. But what it actually does, because it's XML, um, it reads it in uh, as a page. So that to actually get hold of that file in Chrome, uh, save and share, save page as, and you can then save it as an XML file wherever you need to save that. Then back in Axes and O's itself, you have the ability to import um, scripts. You can't do it when you're connected up to uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, so you have to break the connection or run this before you uh, run the simulator for Flight Sim. Um, then this becomes alive. But what it does is then it gives you, uh, if you bring in the script editor, it gives you a whole uh, new um, group with honeycomb scripts in it and you've got some basic ones like turn all the leds off so all the bits are set to zero and writes it out and this is the address the identifier for the honeycomb system um, all leds on will be sending um, fff so it's all obviously hexadecimal stuff that's going on here and various bits getting set uh, so you've got that for turning almost any light on and off uh, the various commands to turn uh, to switch uh, one uh, bit but they've also given us a uh, quite a long script where it goes looking through all of the different conditions that are available well each bulb or each led is there including all the autopilot bulbs so every anything that's on the honeycomb is there and a condition that may well apply to your aircraft or might not apply to uh, control it so i'm going to basically copy that into my script area for the 152 and let's um, call it the honeycomb LED for the 152 so we'll save that as a new and now we'll be working on this new script so we're not going to mess up the default one we're going to control this one and let's get into the actual cockpit of the plane And make sure it's kind of cold and dark and everything's switched off no nothing running um, to make this script run we run it as an all aircraft automated script so i'm going to pull it from my 152 group and add it here as a repeating background script and you can see in the camera here that um, lights have already come on which is um, not really desirable you shouldn't expect to turn up to a cold and dark aircraft like this and find that um, lot annunciator panels lit up in fact there isn't an annunciator panel anyway on the Cessna the, the closest we've got to that is one red LED over here that comes on if you're draining the battery uh, if the alternator is not running um, so I do need to get into that script straight away and edit that to make sure these lights don't come on unless there is need to. What I've done is I've, I've 
I set up a couple of variables to watch so all the kind of main uh, electrical ones the the, uh, the amps and the volts and this is the one here that's of interest to us here so this one here um, there's no voltage on the main bus so that's why they they there really shouldn't be a light on if I switch on the battery you can see straight away there's voltage there and things should start lighting up interesting enough though the low voltage light doesn't come up so we still need to do some work there but first of all let's cure this problem that there shouldn't be lights at all at this point so in our script what I want to do is to make sure that everything is switched off if there's no voltage so the variable I want for that is the main bus voltage so I want that main bus voltage in there and I want to test that to see if it's zero so if it is zero what I wanted to do is kind of a variation on this so I'm just going to use this as, as a quick cut and paste copy and paste um, exercise and change that to a zero so that says everything is off if there's no voltage I want to use the else here if we have got voltage go ahead and do all the tests because this is going to step through testing conditions for each of the, um, the possible LEDs and at the end write out the bits that have been set so go, that stays outside the else bracket so if I click update now you see that the light has gone off because there is nothing happening on the main bus if I switch the battery on again lights come on but not the low voltage one so what's how do I test that this uh, what, what's controlling this well this is where we need these variables here and essentially is this bus ampage amp the amp meter here the ammeter that it's um, showing that the um, current is flowing out of the battery what I'm going to do is I'm going to start um, we'll just start the engine and get the alternator running and you can see when the alternator is running the current is running in so the current is negative um, here if I turn the alternator off you'll see it goes positive and the red light comes on so that's the one that I want to use to control what's going on uh, with the warning here it, there is this aircraft isn't setting a, a warning as such so we've got to read a variable so the one I want for that one is the battery bus amps so we'll insert that variable from the battery bus and it's the ampage the amperes that I'm after and I want to know if it's positive or negative basically um, so zero greater than update that and as soon as I switch off the alternator we should see this low voltage light appear and it does so it's coinciding with the LED underneath the, meet, the, the meter here so that's working fine realistically there's not much else on here um, the parking brake is uh, there and that's working if I if I ch turn the parking brake on and off you can see that's already linked up correctly so um, we've got an indicator for that although there isn't one in real life on the, on the Cessna um, I could probably do with one for the anti-ice to remind me about the pitot heat the pitot heat um, there and the only other warning that I've got that I want to look at really is this meter here for the oil pressure there is a red line although no red light comes on um, just as an exercise I'm going to have it set so that when that drops below wherever that red line is then um, it will light up the warning lights so what I'm looking for is a variable 
for the oil pressure and this one here seems the most likely so if I put that as a one and add that in I can see it's at about 6700 so the kind of guessing I've made is that anything if it's below 6000 then this um, it should light up that should come on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to edit out um, pretty much all of the lines that we're not going to be using there, there isn't a, a fuel pump to look at um, there's no no indicator on here so we can't we're not going to have that this particular aircraft doesn't tell us when there's a door open um, that's going to be my the anti-ice is going to be my for my pitot heat we've got the engine starter there but things like the APU switch now we're just going to take out equally there's no autopilot so I'm just going to edit those out and come back to you with a, a kind of cleaner script okay so this is uh, the script as it stands now um, all lights off if there's no voltage else check the parking brake position we've seen that that's working fine at the moment the parking brake is indicated that it's on um, this one here checks to make sure I've got the alternator on if I turn the alternator off that lights up the oil pressure we'll look at in a second um, we'll just check that the heater light comes on so when that's on the pitter heat anti, anti ice light comes on so that's working and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the engine which will let us check the oil pressure light coming on and then we'll restart it and check the starter light comes on so what I'm going to do is pull the mixture to idle and we should watch that oil pressure drop down and the oil it should come on any second now and it hasn't so we need to check that line of code Uh, should be less than 6,000 not less than one okay update that and the lot there's the low oil pressure light there let's restart the engine so as we restart it we should see the starter engage light come on and we should see the oil pressure warning light go off so let's get into the mixture here and let's restart the engine starts engaged lights come on and lights off and the oil warning lights gone off so um, yeah that's it so I've got everything working as I want to so what I'm going to do now is to save this setup as a template and in fact it's going to replace this one here so we'll save that overwriting it that's fine in fact we can check that out now if we go and have a look and uh, edit that template you can see there that's where it says it's going to load the auto script when I next apply that template um, and bring that in okay right uh, that's it for this video all that's left now is a test flight to make sure that everything's working so I'll probably show you um, the results of that uh, an edited highlight of uh, the test flight okay see you in the next video